come see, huh? Jen is get top fucking class. Oh, very good. We celebrate by you taking a cup. Kim's convenience for me is about uh, family. Kim's convenience is about love. You bought this for me? I love that the show brings together an incredibly diverse cast in scenes that happen in Toronto all the time but never make it onto TV. I can't catch here what you're talking. What are talking? No one can understand what you're both talking about it. The character I play is Appa, and Appa is boisterous. Who pay for camera that take those pictures? And he's lovable. Okay, see you. The character I play is Oma. What? The discount is a missing money. It's a gem. What happened? She is going to die. Alone. Janet is stubborn, like Appa. No, Appa, that is. You know what? You what? Stop doing that. You stop. So if I stop. You saw it by stop. <laughs> but deep down, there's love. Like behind all that annoyingness, there's love. We have um, Jung who is uh, in his late 20s, and he went wrong. I drove the van when I was 13. You stole the van when you were 13. So the relationship between Jung and Up is a little bit complicated. They kind of haven't spoken in a really, really long time. Here's the thing. When I was 16, my dad kicked me out. Or I might have run away. That's my dad. I'm excited for people to see um, a family that might not reflect the color of their own skin, but would reflect their values and the struggles that they might have with each other. Even though it is about an immigrant Korean family, I think that any family can relate to it. This is about a very large part and a key component of Canadian culture, and that's our immigrants. These are real stories, and they're incredibly detailed, they're incredibly true, and they're outrageous at the same time. Uh, oh, I can't tell you some of this stuff, it's so much fun.